ever stare up at the vast emptiness of the night sky and feel utterly insignificant, like a tiny speck hurtling through a meaningless cosmos. Yeah, me too. Welcome to the beautiful, terrifying world of existentialism and nihilism. In this video, we're diving headfirst into the abyss. Don't worry, we brought snacks. We'll explore the ideas of philosophers like Albert Camus and Friedrich Nietzsche, who dare to ask the big questions. Is there any point to all this? Does life have inherent meaning? Or are we all just hurtling towards oblivion like existential bowling pins? Prepare yourselves, because things might get a little absurd. But hey, at least we'll be facing the void together. Buckle up, existential explorers because it's about to get real. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. Defining existential concepts. So, we've established we're all hurtling towards the big sleep, but why does that make us feel so? Ah, that, my friends, is the wonderful world of existential dread. It's that pit in your stomach, feeling that comes from contemplating the vast emptiness of existence, like, What's the point of, well, anything? If we're all just gonna turn into space dust eventually, that's where nihilism waltzes in. It's the philosophy that life has no inherent meaning or purpose. No grand plan, no divine intervention, just us and the cold, uncaring universe. Ouch. Combine that with existential dread, and you've got a recipe for some serious contemplation or maybe just a strong cup of coffee. Now, let's talk about the absurd. According to Albert Camus, a French philosopher who really dug this whole existential angst thing, the absurd is the clash between our human desire for meaning and the universe's complete indifference. We crave purpose, but the universe doesn't give a flying. Well, you get the picture. And if you think your own existence feels insignificant, picture this. Our entire planet is just a tiny blue marble in a mind. Bogglingly vast cosmos. We're talking galaxies upon galaxies, stretching out forever. Suddenly, your daily worries seem a tad, well, small. So, yeah, existential dread, nihilism, the absurd, they all contribute to that feeling that life might be, well, meaningless. But hey, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. Stay tuned, because in the next part, we'll see how these philosophers dealt with the absurdity of it all, and how we can too. Philosophical perspectives. Embracing the absurd. Now, existential dread might feel like a downer. But some philosophers actually saw an opportunity in the absurdity of it all. Let's meet Albert Camus, the French philosopher who brought us the myth of Sisyphus. Imagine a dude forever condemned to roll a giant rock up a mountain, only for it to roll back down every single time. Sounds like a metaphor for life, right? According to Camus, Sisyphus is the ultimate absurd hero. He acknowledges the futility of his task, but he keeps pushing that rock. Why? because he finds freedom and rebellion against meaninglessness. Camus argues we should embrace the absurd too. Instead of searching for a meaning that isn't there, we should focus on living authentically. Find what makes you feel alive, what brings you joy, and create your own meaning in this crazy world. Next up, we have Friedrich Nietzsche, the German philosopher known for his mustache and some pretty radical ideas. He proposed the concept of eternal recurrence, the idea that everything you experience, good or bad, will repeat eternally. Wow, right? Now, this might sound like a cosmic nightmare, but Nietzsche saw it as a challenge. If you had to live your life over and over again, exactly the same way, wouldn't you want it to be a life you could truly love? Eternal recurrence forces us to confront our choices and strive for a life we'd be proud to repeat for eternity. It's a way to find meaning by embracing the journey, 
not just the destination. Both Kamas and Nietzsche, despite their different approaches, agree on one thing. Death and nothingness are inevitable, but that doesn't mean life is meaningless. In the next part, we'll explore how to navigate this crazy, absurd existence and find meaning even in the face of oblivion, modern reflections on ancient angst. So, existential dread and the absurd might be ancient ideas, but they haven't exactly gone out of style. These philosophical questions are still super relevant in today's world. Think about all the modern art that explores themes of alienation and anxiety, or all that dystopian literature that ponders the meaning of existence in a chaotic world. Heck, even your favorite superhero movie probably has some existential subtext lurking beneath the fight scenes. We're constantly bombarded with messages about achieving greatness, finding your purpose, and living your best life. But what if there's no predetermined purpose? What if the meaning is up to you? That's the beauty and terror of existentialism. It forces us to confront the uncomfortable truth and carve our own path. Look around you. The way people create art, chase their passions, or simply connect with loved ones. That's all a reflection of the human desire to find meaning in a meaningless world. We create our own purpose through our actions, our relationships, and the experiences we choose to have. The point isn't to find some grand cosmic meaning. The point is to live authentically, embrace the absurdity, and create your own damn masterpiece in this crazy, beautiful mess of existence. Navigating the absurd. How to find your why. All right, existential dread is cool and all. But how do we actually live a good life, knowing it's all? Meaningless, don't worry. Existential explorers, there is a way. First, let's talk about creating your own meaning. Instead of searching for some preordained purpose, what sparks joy in your life? Is it creating art, helping others, spending time with that weirdo friend group that makes you laugh? Do that. Those passions, those connections, that's where you forge your own meaning. Second, existential freedom. Nobody's dictating the rules of your life. You are free, well, mostly free, to make your own choices, carve your own path. Want to quit your soul? Sucking job and travel the world? Do it. Although, maybe check your bank account first. The point is, you have the power to shape your own experience. And finally, embrace the absurdity. Life is weird. The universe is nonsensical, and that's kind of beautiful in a messed up way. Find the humor in the situation. Laugh at the absurdity of it all. Because hey, if nothing matters anyway, why not have some fun on the way out? So, you don't need some cosmic reason to exist. Find your own purpose, revel in your freedom, and enjoy the freaking ride. That's how you find meaning in the face of meaninglessness. The absurdity of everything, and why that's okay. All right, existential explorers. We've reached the end of our journey through the void. So, what have we learned? Well, we learned that life's probably meaningless. The universe doesn't care, and we're all hurtling towards oblivion. But hey, that doesn't have to be a downer. We explored the ideas of existential dread, nihilism, and the absurd. We saw how philosophers like Camus and Nietzsche found meaning, or a lack thereof, in the face of the void. And most importantly, we talked about how you can navigate this crazy, absurd existence and create your own damn masterpiece. Finding meaning doesn't have to be about achieving some grand purpose. It's about the little things, the connections you make, the passions you pursue, the joy you find 
in the everyday. Embrace the freedom to define your own life and don't be afraid to laugh at the absurdity of it all. Look, existential dread might creep in from time to time, but you're not alone. We're all in this existential boat together, paddling furiously towards the unknown. But hey, at least the view is spectacular. Don't be a stranger in the absurd. All right, existential explorers before you all go hurtling back into the void of your daily lives. Let's not forget why we're here. First, smash that like button. It helps us continue our deep dives into the weird and wonderful world of philosophy. Feeling generous? Share this video with your friends. Spread the existential dread. I mean joy. And speaking of joy, don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing explorations. We've got upcoming videos on everything from the nature of consciousness to the ethics of artificial intelligence. Basically, all the deep questions that keep you up at night. Or maybe that should be existential dread. So, yeah. Like, share, subscribe. The usual drill. And hey, if you're ever feeling lost in the vast emptiness of existence, remember, you're not alone. We're all out here, together, staring into the abyss and trying to make sense of it all. Until next time, existential explorers. May your search for meaning be fruitful, or at least entertaining.